Runners can't wait to get their hands on the Forerunner 610, Garmin's first touchscreen watch. It's a faster way to get in touch with your training data using a quick touch, tap, or swipe. Beyond its good looks and easy operation, Forerunner 610 has several advanced features, which we'll cover in other videos. When you take the 610 out of the box for the first time, it's probably been asleep for a while, so you'll need to charge it using the included charging cradle. If you haven't interacted with the 610 for several minutes, it will go into sleep mode and the touchscreen will be locked. Swipe firmly to the left to unlock it. The first time you use the 610, a setup wizard will guide you through a few steps. The 610 has a resistive touchscreen for durability, which means you need to press harder than you would on a touchscreen phone. You can use your finger or fingernail to operate the touch screen, but do not use hard or sharp objects. When you get through the setup wizard, Forerunner will try to locate satellites because it's ready to run. We'll get outside soon, but first, let's take a few minutes to get familiar with the touch screen. Forerunner 610 gives you several ways to access your data and change settings. Just tap the touch screen to scroll through pages. You can also swipe your finger left or right to change pages. When a message pops up on screen, just tap to confirm. To access the main menu, touch the menu icon on the bottom of the touch screen. From here, you can tap to select one of the features. To return to a previous page, touch the back arrow on the left side of the touch screen or swipe right. While the 610 touch screen is sleek and good looking, you'll be glad to know it's rugged too. It can stand up to rain, sweat, and the occasional drink station dousing yet it's so sensitive you can use it with running gloves. Now that you've mastered the touch, tap, and swipe actions, it's time to run.